singing. Joyous voices, sweet and clear, sing the sound of heart to cheer. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling through the town, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling up and down, Christmas bells are ringing. Mark ye well the song we sing, glad some tidings now we bring. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to you. Santa Claus. Yeah, isn't that pretty? You want to take off your coat, darling, and get ready to see Santa Claus? Well, all present and accounted for. Hey, ready to go, Steve. Watch out for the tree. Watch out for the tree. Excuse me, huh? Hello, Frisco. Rita, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you, too. Thanks. Listen, uh, we're all going to be gathering over at the Brownstone after the festivities here. Hi. So why don't you join us? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd like to very much. Felicia and I would both like to have you there. Well, thank you. Uh, I'd, I'd like to. You made my Christmas. Good. See you later. Hey. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> like anyway. oh, I asked Rita over to the brownstone after this is over here. Well, that's very nice of you. Yeah, I don't like to see anybody alone on the holidays, huh? Neither do I. Good. <gasps> Every now and then I can be wrong. You wrong? Never. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. BJ gave me this, some kind of drawing or something. Oh, maybe she had a little bomb on the holidays. Well, let's open it. <laughs> okay, everybody, are we all ready for the Christmas parade? Okay, kids of all ages, line up in the back of us elves and let's get started. All right. <laughs> Rudolph, how's that going? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Okay, Max, just a little while longer. Wonder where Tony is, huh? You'll hear him coming, because Rudolph and all the rangers will be coming with him. Oh, look, look who's coming, huh? The guy I told you about in all the books, Santa himself. Here he comes. Look, she knows exactly what I'm talking about. making spirits bright. What fun it is to kids and Great parade, isn't it? It always is. I'm so glad Dawn could make it. Oh, yeah, me too. But I must confess, I am worried about her. Why? She's better, isn't she? Well, she's not worse. Tony will zero in on the calls. Yeah, I Come on, let's watch the well, looky here. Who's that little boy? It's Lucas, Santa, but he got a little nervous because it's the first time he remembers seeing you. Well, don't be scared of old Santa. How are you today? You've been a good boy? I bet you've been a good boy. All the kids in Fort Charles are good. Why, we haven't had trouble since Amy and the reindeer. <laughs> I gotta go. Traffic's busy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, can you say Merry Christmas? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Violet.
little Lucas. I'll bet you get lots of presents. <laughs> well, is everybody inside here? Yeah? Okay, here we go. Kids and grown-ups, Dr. Hardy's going to tell us all a story. Yeah. Well, Sarah, everybody listen. This is the story about the first Christmas, almost 2,000 years ago. It was a cold, bitter winter night when the wind was blowing so hard it made tears come to your eyes. And on that very night, a young couple was traveling on their way to Bethlehem. They were very cold and very tired. These two travelers were so poor, they had only one donkey. The man was a carpenter named Joseph, and his wife's name was Mary. And Mary was going to have a baby. And Joseph told Mary that everything was going to be all right. When they got to the inn, Joseph knocked on the door. The innkeeper opened the door and took one look at this worn-out couple. And he just knew they didn't have enough money to pay for a room, so he shut the door fast. Poor Joseph, he didn't know what to do. He looked at Mary, and she was too tired to even cry. But then he saw this nearby stable. And he figured it might be warm there. So they went to the stable. It looked warm inside, all right, but very, very crowded with animals. So crowded that it looked like Joseph and Mary might not be able to squeeze in. But then, then a very strange thing happened. All the animals moved over and made room for Mary. Joseph got some fresh straw, fixed a bed for Mary. She lay down. And then a hush came over the stable. And in that hush, a baby was born. They called him Jesus. And he grew up to teach us that there's good in all of us. That we can always improve our lives no matter what has happened in the past. And he taught us the most important thing in the world. That we should love each other. That we should understand and forgive each other. And that's what this day is really all about the all-forgiving spirit of Christmas. And that, children, is the story of the first Christmas. All right. Yeah. You like it? Well, I'm glad you like it, DJ. And now, why don't we all wish each other a Merry Christmas? Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody! Listen up, has everybody got a present here? All right, so you know I rarely forget anyone unless they're really, really naughty. And that hasn't happened since Amy came to town. So I want you all to be good kids. I'll see you next year. And say one, two, three, Merry Christmas with me. One, two, three. Oh. What can I do for you? Uh, well, you could give me some news. Good news, maybe, about Dawn. I'm afraid not. Should I be worried? Oh, no. She's stabilized. It's just we're going to have to wait till we get something that breaks. I know that. I know that. It's just a little hard to be objective in your mother. I know it is. It's going to be okay. Oh. Stay on top of it. Okay, well, thank you, Sam. You're the only one Santa hug today. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, that's true. It is. Merry hey, Christmas. <laughs> You know what? I've got an idea. I don't know if it's going to come to anything. Well, I'm, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Come on, let's talk about it. Okay. 